This study from MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, Texas, reports surgical inpatient reported outcomes of 694 two-stage prepectoral versus subpectoral breast reconstructions. There was 481 patients who had tissue expander-based breast reconstruction. 83% were placed in the prepectoral plane or on top of the pectoralis muscle, while 17% were placed in the subpectoral plane or below the pectoralis muscle. The advantage of placing the tissue expander or temporary breast implant after mastectomy in the prepectoral plane is less patient discomfort, a better shaped breast, and no animation deformity. An animation deformity occurs when breast implant is underneath the pectoral muscle, the pectoral's pectoral muscle flexes and it causes the skin to wrinkle. By placing the expander on top, this does not occur. It wasn't until recently with the advantages of new tissue expanders, acellular dermal matrices that can, can be used as scaffolds for the surgeon, and better mastectomy techniques that allowed for prepectoral reconstruction to occur. In this study, the authors importantly showed there was no difference in complications between subpectoral and prepectoral breast reconstruction. And in addition, the use of patient-reported outcomes showed that there was no differences in patient satisfaction. Of interest, Five years ago at MD Anderson, only one out of 20 surgeons were performing prepectoral breast reconstruction. Now, 22 out of 23 perform breast reconstruction, and in a recent study by the ASPS, or the American Society of Plastic Surgeons, 48% of board-certified plastic surgeons that do breast reconstruction are using the prepectoral technique in most or all of their patients. So my advice to patients is, if you're having a mastectomy and an implant reconstruction, make sure you ask about the prepectoral versus subpectoral reconstruction. Thank you.